After over two years, he's headed back, both heads ready to turn heads at the Cameron Park Zoo in Waco, Texas. Do the two heads get along? They almost ignore each other. Meet Poncho and Lefty, named after the country western song. Poncho needs your prayers, it's true, but save a few for Lefty too. The harmless western rat snake was found by a local resident and donated to the zoo when he was a few weeks old. He has two different brains. In seven years, he's grown from eight inches to three feet. Is he right-headed or is he left-headed? Uh, the dominant head is the right head, however, the left head does have ideas of its own. And when Lefty goes one direction and Poncho goes the other, it's trouble. The snake gets hung up on things and injures himself. In 2021, the wound got so bad he had to be removed from his exhibit to be treated and to heal. That waxy-looking substance on Lefty's neck protects the injured area. So which head eats? They both do. But the dominant right sometimes drags Lefty away from a mouse meal. The right head gets more to eat, though it all ends up in the same stomach. 20 years ago, I covered a two-headed turtle named Lefty Righty, whose heads stole food from one another. When one head yawned, the other did too. They got caught on plants. The snake's exhibit has been revamped, so there's little to get stuck on. And two heads are no reason Poncho and Lefty couldn't enjoy romance once he's older. They will tongue flick the female up and down her body. So maybe uh, two heads uh, would be better than one for that. It, it sure is possible. A two-headed snake threesome? It's enough to leave your heads spinning. Genie Mouse, CNN, New York.